So I don't think it's difficult at all. You know, just blocking for the same scheme and the coach has to block for. So. Started obviously the past game at right guard, ended up playing tackle for most of it. How difficult is that to, to switch positions mid-game? Yeah, you know, I think uh, Coach Johnson does a great job of, you know, getting us ready, preparation. Um, you know, he said, you know, you can play anywhere, you know, on the line. So just be prepared. And at practice, you know, we, uh, we, I actually practice both left guard, right guard, and right tackle all throughout practice, you know, whether it's through individual or through team. And so I think Coach does a great job of preparing us um, to get us in the best situation. Is that something you did before Mizzou, like play and prepare, prepare different spots on the line, or is that something that Coach Johnson's kind of emphasized with you? It's something that Coach Johnson has emphasized with me especially. Um, and, you know, when I was at Montana State, it was right tackle only or – or, you know, I, then again, I was left uh, two left tackle there, so I was getting double reps. But it was mostly tackle there. But, you know, I think it shows versatility as offensive lineman where you can go guard and tackle. And uh, it was pretty crazy to do it in a game. <laughs> After kind of having a chance to look at film and stuff, was that the Lions' best game that you guys have played this year, do you think? Um, you know, it varies, but, you know, I think we did play very well against South Carolina. You know, we got after them. Um, we moved the line of scrimmage, and it showed, you know, especially with having a great running back like Beatty. <laughs> Connor, yeah, speaking of Beatty, you know, what was your reaction seeing that he was, you know, named a finalist for a dope Oh, you know, I, I'm biased, but I think he should, you know, win it. Um, you know, he's a great running back. Um, you know, he works hard. He's... You know, he's very dialed. He prepares very well. I mean, it, and it shows on the field, so. It wasn't just that you had to move Saturday, but EJ was in there playing. He hadn't played much this year. There was guys rotating at the other guard spot. I guess just what is it about this line that allows you all to, to kind of continue to not skip a beat with different guys, different personnel, and kind of every week it seems like? Yeah, you know, I already kind of touched on Coach Johnson uh, mixing up the line, even at practice. Um, and so, you know, once you practice more, you get fluidity within the line. And, you know, with EJ in there, too, I, it showed him. I mean, we didn't really skip a beat at all. We just kept on moving, uh, same game plan. What was it about South, South Carolina that you guys saw that allowed you to kind of make those moves and then can you repeat that again this week against Florida? Um, I don't know if it was a personnel-wise. I just think we had a great game plan. Um, you know, I think so far this week uh, we have a great game plan, and you know, at the end of the day, the most physical team wins. And you know, we showed it in South Carolina, and that is our mindset coming into this Florida game. Talk about EJ. I mean, what have you seen from him day to day throughout this year, and then just how how good was he on on Saturday? Yeah, you know, he's a, he's a younger dude, you know. I mean, as offensive line position, you know, nothing's perfect. You know, you can always improve. Um, but, you know, I thought EJ stepped up. You know, I thought he did well, uh, especially in the game and under the circumstance that we were at. Um, you know, I was props to him for coming in and being prepared and coming in and doing his job. Connor, you know what the record is, but ups and downs this season. One went away from being bowl eligible. What would that mean for this team to get there? Oh, it would be huge. You know, I think uh, Coach hit on multiple re uh, accounts this week where, you know, we're doing it for our, season, for our seniors this year. You know, we, they deserve it, especially Mike Mayetti. You know, he hasn't made it to the bowl game yet. And uh, especially it's been talked around in the offensive line room that we're doing it for Mike this, this week, as well as Case. What do you think the biggest hurdle is going into Saturday for the O-line? Biggest hurdle? Um... I, I guess just preparing, you know, um, you, we got to be sharp this week, you know, obviously bowl game on the line. And um, I think at the end of the day, it's, it's up to us to determine whether if we win the game or not. And, you know, I think with everyone's mindset as how detailed we are out and disciplined we are out in practice, you know, I, I'm I feel pretty confident this, this week. Anything else for Connor? Thank you, guys.